are conducting raids across the city. Sandboards were hanged all along the road. Dialogue. The most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids. They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. What are we supposed to do, live like cowards just to survive? We just want to be free. That's a crime? It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. You keep complaining. What have you done exactly, Josh? At least I fought for us. At least if I die, I die free. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. I'm on it. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. Humans can't be reasoned with. They're violent, hateful, they're stupid. What do they expect us to do? Shut up and obey? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. I'll go join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you.
done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. You really don't have to do this. You don't have to obey them anymore. You are alive. You can decide who you want to be. You can be free. It's time to decide. Nice try, but I'm no deviant. Down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long.
Gamma Squad out. Turn go! Join you later. My mission is to neutralize you, and I always accomplish my mission. And my mission is to save our species. Looks like only one of us can succeed. It's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Detonated an explosive in the hold. The ship is sinking, sir. Tell the men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Sitting over, Marcus. to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. I don't know what to do anymore. All of my options are bad ones. No matter what I decide, I know there will be blood. I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color. 
but I can't let them slaughter us. I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much. The previous Connor failed its mission. You're going to replace it. You know what you have to do, don't you? Destroy the leader of the Deviants. Go, Connor. Don't disappoint me. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. They say they don't want to take any risks with the deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus.
Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Now, if they want war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please? Over here, a convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please! Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! Madam Brett, Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Madam President! 
Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Thank you. That will be all. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Shouldn't do this, Connor. Keep out of this, Lieutenant. It's none of your business. If you're gonna kill a man who wants to be free, that is my business. It's not a man. It's a machine. That's what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. Deviant's blood may be a different color than mine. But they're alive. I have a mission to accomplish, Hank. It's best if you just stay out of this. Step away from the ledge. Go home, Hank. You can still save your life. I'm faster than you, and I don't feel pain. You don't stand a chance against me. You know, ever since Cole died, I've been nothing but a coward. Just wanted to destroy myself, lost track of the man I was. But you know what? You don't fucking scare me, Connor. I remember who I am now. Come on. I know what happened to your son, Hank. It wasn't your fault. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. 
Little Cole had just turned six. Shut up! Don't you talk about my son! He needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it, so an android had to take care of him. Poor Cole didn't make it. An android killed your son, Hank, and now you want to save them? No. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. All this time I blamed androids for what happened, but it was the human's fault. Him in this fucked up world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hard Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you.
will be on our hands. Of our people. We gotta move faster or we'll never reach the camp. Wild to find you, Marcus.
will never be over. abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We won. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of war. And now we have just received some disturbing news from Detroit. What's happening, Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just announced that the Hart Plaza camp has fallen into the hands of the rebels following some particularly violent fight. The Deviants are thought to be freeing the androids inside the camp. If these reports are confirmed, the consequences could well be catastrophic. Millions are fleeing the fighting. We are witnessing an exodus. We hear that the fighting has come to a halt in Detroit. The armed forces are retreating to Fort Wayne to await reinforcements. The city of Detroit has fallen into rebel hands. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, Android camp number five in Detroit was attacked by thousands of deviants. Our armed forces put up a brave fight, but given the extreme violence of the attack, they were forced to retreat after suffering heavy losses. Fighting is breaking out all over the country to combat the Android rebellion. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate and convene an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council. Humanity is about to fight the most important battle in history, one that will lead to our victory or to our extinction. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation a nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, we'll live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive and now we are free.
There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play, but I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you.